Hey, how's it going? And I thought it would be fun today to explore this Unreal Editor for Fortnite. It's new and I just want to explore it. I'm not new to Unreal Engine at all. And so I just want to see how easy I can grasp some of these concepts in the editor. And so I thought it'd be fun to look at this direct event binding. So let's, let's do that. So I'm going to go into the library here and I'm just going to go into the Unreal Editor for Fortnite which I guess you could call it the uef -in. From what I can gather, and I'm going to stumble a little way because I'm new to Fortnite, completely new to Fortnite, and new to this editor as well. And my primary interest is in learning verse. So, because I have a feeling it might be coming into Unreal Engine at some point. But anyway, I did a tutorial earlier on how to get to this point, so you can watch that one. And I'm just going to close this splash screen. And to start this, what I've learned in messing around with this today is that there's these templates and basically these create our worlds on which you can build upon. So that's what we're gonna do. They're, they're pretty cool. So I'm just gonna get something real basic like this flat grid one and there's a, there's a simple one and there's a blank one. So I guess we could just grab a blank one and I'm just gonna call this event binding. I'm starting to understand is that you could I guess build games within Fortnite. I didn't know that. I guess you could build your own experience, game experiences already within it. But with the editor, it allows you to use this kind of editor, which is very similar to the Unreal Engine. And I think things might actually go faster. So, so anyway, here we are in this blank level in the Unreal Editor. And you can see this is our level. I see that. So I see we've created a level. And what are these things? These are player spawn beds. So well, that's one of the things that we need. So to start on this, I am just going, I don't need two of them. So I'm actually going to delete this one. I don't, I'll just so I, not, I don't get confused myself. You know, one's enough on this. So let me click here. Can I even delete it? So like I said, it's a little bit of an exploration. Okay, yes, we can. So. To do this, we need, we're going to get some collectibles and I'm actually following the direct event binding tutorial that's on the documentation. So it says in the tutorial to get a collectibles gallery, but if I look for collectibles, I don't see that it doesn't come up and collectibles does come up though. So if I go, I think I can type C O L let's see here. What do we get? This is what I'm looking for. So I don't see a gallery. I see all these individual items, but I don't see a gallery of collectibles. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this coin and I said we're going to get six of them. So I just am going off of my previous experience with Unreal. And can we alt L these and make more of them? We can. Okay, so let's just do that. So I'm just hitting alt and, and making more of these things. So I, I guess we're overlapping. It looks like the capsule, the collision capsule or whatever. So we're just making a few of them, okay? So I don't see where there's a group of them you can get. So anyway, there's that. Now we have these collectible objects. I can come over into the outliner and let's, uh, holding down shift, I can select them all. And I don't know if that's kosher to have them so overlap like that, but I guess we'll find out. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> so I guess we're all learning, so be patient. So what we're going to do now is on the details panel, we have multiple objects selected here. So we don't have to worry about the number, but for the score value here, now I understand in the details panel, if you were to go into Fortnite and build your own game on an island, which you can do, you'd have access to all of these same variables. But here in the editor, we have those variables and they're here. And as far as I can tell, this is a lot more convenient setup for getting access to these parameters. So I think the editor, just from what I can tell in using it for a couple days, this seems a much faster way to access the variables to build your game than using the Fortnite, what comes inside of Fortnite. But I understand you can do the same thing that we're doing right here inside of Fortnite itself. So anyway, on the score, we're going to put in 50. And then on the documentation, I think this might be out of date because it said to enter a one, but there is no one. So there's just a self, anyone or the team. So we just want it to be the self, I would imagine, because that's the player. That's the only one in the game right now. 
but we can decide who gets to pick these coins up, I, I can tell that. And now there's a, an array down here, and it looks like we want to turn the visibility on. So what we're going to do is come over here and click this icon to add to the array. And we want this to be the player spawn that we have. So we can search for it in our level and go player spawn pad, that one right there. You can use this eyedropper, but half the time I don't have very good success with that. And then we want to set this setting on player spawn. So I guess when I come into the game, that'll take care of that. So that takes care of that. So these are all going to, these all these events, all these objects are what they call in the engine, actors are all going to be able to communicate directly by this binding that we're doing right here. So we're obviously doing some binding here with all this. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now we've got to search for something that's called the score manager. And I don't know, this is there one already in the scene? Let's look and see. No, there doesn't appear to be. So so let's search for a score manager. Let's see if it pops up here. There it is right there, this thing. So I guess this keeps track of our game score. <laughs> and on it, I guess we wanna, we gotta tell it some things too. So we're gonna do the same thing under the score value for it. We're gonna set it to 50. We're gonna go to the award type and keep it at add. And then we have to make sure that score change when activated is checked so is that score change when activated and let's see um, type and we want 50 for this value so score change when activated is 50 and let's see increment score on award so where is that there's got to be an increment award let's search for that increment yeah it's increment score on Award is checked, and then we did our minimum score field. So let's find that. So I'll, I'll review this. The minimum score field here is going to be 52. So that takes care of the settings for our score manager. So if I could just review them, I guess, real quick. Here we set our score value to 50. We want our score word type and add. We want increment score checked. We want minimum score 50 and score change active 50. So like I said, in Fortnite itself, all these settings are available, but you got to go through that kind of cartoony interface to change all these. And here it's just there right there. So to me, this is, uh, I can see why this would be a better way to build your game. It seems like it'd be faster because when you're building, it seems like you don't necessarily need all that fluff. You know, you just want to build it. So as far as I can tell, we just need to do one more thing here and we need to go to the user function, user options here user options so where is that there's user options here advanced i understand it's array like we have oh here it is so here it has this user options functions similarly to what these coins had and we are looking for on player spawned no sorry i take that back we're looking to set to player score and then we're going to add that player like what we did to the collectibles here we're going to connect that to the player spawn. So go player, oops, player spawn pad and just what we did before on spawn, on player spawn. So basically when the player is spawned we want all these settings to kick in. Okay and then we can hit close there and that takes care of that and then the last thing we got to do is we got to come up here and search for island settings here and then we want to just set this score. It looks like there's a max score or something here. Let's see. There is a score to end. So let's search for score. Ah, uh, score, wait, score. Oh, right here we got it. It's a checkbox. So we enable that and we go score to end is 300. But I mean, we could change this. So like, let's make it 350. So. Obviously, we want to have enough coins to cover that. So if each coin is 50, you know, we could actually do 400. Let's do 400. So it would never end if I didn't have enough coins on the, the game. And of course, I guess these coins then could be spread out all over. So I can see where you can make a game of hiding these coins and you get 50 
points per score coin and when you get all the coins to a certain score the game's over so I would believe right now all we need to do is hit save and then we can just go launch and let's see what happens and like I said I'm I'm new to Fortnite, but I'm not new to Unreal Engine. So, so I would say there is quite a bit to learn in here, but I could I'm starting to see how this all fits together and you could start creating your own games here. So, so I get now that Fortnite, I guess it logs on, it works off of a server. So, I guess it's a server-based game. You know, it's their own little world there. So, this to me means that we're we're coming into Fortnite game now. So it's connected me apparently to the game server. And we'll go from there. It looks a very almost anime-ish to me. A lot of it. It kind of like reminds me of Ready Player One. And then here we go. Loading into your edit session. So I guess it's loading. So it should take me into that world I just created. Now when I did this before I created a really big world. And I had the coins way on one side. This, I said earlier, this is a lobby. This is not the lobby. It looked like a lobby to me, but it's not the lobby. I guess it's just telling us that it's loading Fortnite into our editor, however it's doing that. There's so much going on under the hood here, I can't even imagine how they put this all together. I just always imagine the Jeopardy music playing as this is happening. Oh, okay, so here we are. Here's our world. And see, one of my problems right now is where are my coins? Uh, let's see. Oh, they're right here. I'm right here. Oh, did I put them too high? See, look. Oh my gosh. You see what I did? <laughs> oh no. So the game would never end. Because I put them way up there. And look how they come in. They don't come in as... So I'm going to escape out of this right now. See what I... This is one thing I don't understand about the game. I got to get out of here, right? Yeah. I'm in the game. Oh, so I spawned in here. But I I done this before in other games. Return to lobby. Yes. My only thing that I'm seeing about this right now is this time you've got between getting in and out of the worlds. I close. I don't. I just want out at this point. Close Fortnite. Okay. This is the lobby here. Yes. Okay. So I messed up. So anyway, I have terrible depth perception, but they didn't look that high to me. But in the game, I guess they really are really high so I set these coins too high so you can cut out right now because I'm pretty sure it works but this is just my mistake I this was my I just want to see if it works so but I'm sure it does I just I just want it to I just want to see it for myself <laughs> this is one thing is your how it looks in the world I guess I guess there's your character there yeah I don't know it seemed like they were even too high for me to jump to so I think I set the score so it's starting to make sense to me that's why I like to I like challenges. I like to do things that that uh, I'm not familiar with. I like to get out of my comfort zone. All right, so let's save that because I bumped the score. To, I'm gonna make sure I can get them get them all. Okay. All right, so let's save that and see. We'll do the hokey pokey all over again. We'll launch our session. And I guess we gotta reload. But what I can tell you just from having experimented with this the last couple days is that. I can see that this editor would be the way to build your game versus using the interface inside of Fortnite. That's my experience because it seemed like one of those things where you'd really have to know your way around. And I could see if you played the game a lot where it'd be real easy to, you know, to build the game in there. But I'd prefer to build it in the editor. I can, I can tell you that right now already. Just because all the controls and everything are right there, you know. And in the game, it's more... I don't know, it's more stylized setup. It seems unnecessarily stylized for building a game. But I guess maybe when they first had the concept of building your own game, you know, they had to build it within the, you know, the constraints of the game. So it was going to look as the game did. But I did notice when I was playing around with it, things were set up by channels. But this direct event binding bypasses the need for using channels. So my only issue is... I'm not sure what this screen means, but it it seems to be when this when you see this screen, it seems like this is telling you now we're we're bringing Fortnite actually into your into your editor into the Unreal uh, Unreal editor yeah. 
So I keep saying editor and engine the same, but they're not. So the here we are. So that see the coins now. So now what should happen is I'll get 50. I set it to 400. So every time I get a coin now, I'm gonna get 50 points. Well, I gotta get eight of them, right? So I got half of them right there. Yeah, so this would be, I can definitely see how this would be cool to, so I just need to get four and then I'll be more. So I'll be done. One, two, three, it'll end right here. There. Yeah, so it works. So, so anyway, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for listening to me rambling. I'm just exploring this the same as everyone else is. So take care, have a great day, and I'll see how far I go with this. And if I can come up with something cool, I'll share it with you next time.